strip mine in for that slimy bastard. And here's another little nugget for you. It turns out that Hogg has been paying that kid Prickett a lot of money to come over here and race Saturday. He's paying them? Y'all better get your little asses back here as quick as you can. Got it? 10 4, Shepard. This is Lost Sheep out. Man, this is shit, man. Let's see what's crackling. Please. Turns out your boy Prickett only came back because Hogg paid him an ass load of cash. Don't mean Billy has anything to do with strip mining. Got oh shit, roll him up. Man, what the hell is this, man? Looks like somebody's lost. Look, a couple of white boys playing black. Is that what's going on? Actually, we were at the geology lab, right, for some environmental stuff. Oh, no, and, no, no, uh, no, 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 I get it. They on one of these reality shows. <laughs> Who want to get their ass kicked? Yeah. Won't you two hillbillies join us up here for a minute? Actually, we prefer Appalachian Americans. Man, get out the car! Yeah. Motivate! Now, which one of you two brothers is Michael Angelo? You know, there's a certain creek that people sometimes canoe up without a paddle. You could say that the Duke boys were on that particular creek right now. Let's kick the ass, Jerry! <laughs> Whoa. Never thought I'd say this, but hot damn, it's the cops. Whoops. There goes the canoe. Give me your shoelaces. What? These guys over there gave me theirs, right? You see, I'm gonna fashion myself a lasso. When the jailer comes in, I'm gonna rope his keys. Luke and Bo Duke, home free. Period, end of story. I got any cowboy boots, cuz. I like your style. You're gonna need those shoelaces. Oh, we're gonna have to get out of here. Hey, yo, Brenner, we gotta make a phone call. We gotta call our lawyer. What the hell are we in here for anyway? Well, where should I start? <laughs> we know you're going to strip mine, Hazard. Do you now? Well, that's good. Because guess where I'm gonna sink that first drill? Right down in the middle of your bedroom. Y'all do still share a bunk bed, right? Hey, that's a fat suit there. <laughs> what you, some type of pimp? <laughs> what I want to know is what has strip mining got to do with you paying Billy Prickett to race tomorrow? You like magic, Lou? Slide a hand, see. While you're looking over here, something's really happening. Over here. You see, despite the fact that I now own your beloved farm, I can't legally mine it because the county won't let me. I need to hold a public hearing, you know, to give the citizens of Hazard a chance to object. What are you talking about? And let me guess, you're going to hold the hearing during the rally tomorrow. And if nobody knows about the hearing, then there's not going to be anyone there to object, right? There you go. Slide a hand. Slide a hand. You got to grow no fingernails out. Then pop some fingernail polish on a bet, just so. <laughs> Billy Prickett in on it. Prickett. Prickett's just collecting a paycheck. You know we ain't gonna let you get away with it, don't you, Hog? Oh, really? Well, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow, if you happen to be strolling by the courthouse, about noon, you might want to rush right in there and voice your objections. Boy, dick. Dead. Come in. I just remembered. Tomorrow morning, you're going to the Georgia work farm. And I hear they have a rather strict policy on weekend passes. Yo, B, you need to pop a feather in the hat, yo. Then your manholes will be having more respect for you. I have $100 right here for whoever knocks that loudmouth son of a bitch out. Thank you. Now, break some rocks for me, boys. Take care now, you hear me? Bye-bye. Don't you know you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day? 